Alright guys, name is Tyler aka Nanogenix and today we're hopping in on the first ever Weekend Summon Banner here on the JP side of Dokkan Battle and in case you guys have happened to miss all of this this week Let's take a look at it really quick. So what we're looking at on our screen now is the first ever weekend sort of gotcha banner. And what this is, is Monday through Friday, you log in each day. And each day you log in as a daily login bonus, you get a ticket that you can then use on this banner here. But there's even more to it than that, is that on the weekends now, they're going to have missions. This is for the next three weekends, by the way. The weekend, right now that you're watching this, if you're watching this the second it goes live, as well as the next two weekends after that, all the way until November 25th. So right now, I saved three missions here that I have not accepted. What these were was completing a mission once, twice, and three times. Any mission, I went and completed just three completely different missions and they all worked. Uh, and so here we go, I'm gonna accept this one. That's gonna give me one ticket, right? Except this one, that was gonna give me two. You can also see right here the WE for weekend, or I have to assume that's what that stands for. And then this last mission here, which is gonna give me my other one. So. Now, just like that, for logging in Monday through Friday and just completing three missions on the weekend, I now have 10 tickets that I can summon for on this banner that, yes, as you can see right here, no, 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 as you see right here, it does have the LRs. It has the five OGs. That's Trunks, Maj Vegeta, Goku Black, Broly, and Gohan are all on this banner on top of like 160 other SSRs. Some actually pretty decent stuff. So, with that said, we're going to hop in on this, but first... I just had a stream last night from the time of me recording this and pulled some decent stuff and I kind of wanted you guys to see it because it was actually pretty legit. So with that said, let's hop into that first. Also worth noting that this first clip, uh, I could not salvage the audio one, but it's still pretty legit. Just, just watch, just watch. If I pull anything that is just not Jiren, that is featured, that is on this image. So literally the Gohan, the Piccolo, the Cooler, or the Vegeta. Speedy luck is real. Alright? If I pull Jiren or anything that is not these, Speedy luck is not real. Fair? Fair? I feel like that's fair. Jay Fanta, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh my god. Wow! Wow! <laughs> okay! Well, here we go. <laughs> Alright, we got the one. Just the one. Just the one. is real <laughs> wow we're not even done yet like we're not even out we're not even out oh my god that wasn't even GSSR okay okay I won't doubt the speedy luck ever again Thank you. And there you go. I now have a dupe of that Piccolo, my first copy of that Tech Vegeta, and another dupe of the AGL Metacooler. 
pretty legit. So let me hop in on this and we'll, we'll talk more about that. So basically, Speedy hopped in the chat. Speedy SSJ, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know who he is. If you don't, Speedy SSJ here on YouTube. Um, if you tune into many Dokkan streams, it seems like any time that he hops into the stream, like almost any time that he hops in, uh, someone pulls something good, like the second he gets in. The next multi that that, that streamer does, I've seen it happen to Dimani, I've seen it happen to Truth. The next multi they do, they pull something hype. So he wanted to test it with me. Guess what happened? I pulled something hype. So that is that is what that was all about. Um, and just so I was actually did have the audio for that one, and the one before I didn't have it, but Truth hopped into the hopped into the stream, and I was like, let's see if we can get some Truth luck up in here. And we did, because I needed that Tech Vegeta. I didn't. I did not have that Tech Vegeta. He's really, really good. And not to mention, he's a Vegeta card. I didn't have him, so like, why not? All right, so. Nothing on this first one. Now, I just want to go ahead and throw this out there. This cannot be overstated at all. This is literally, this is so big for for so many reasons. Not only are we getting daily stones, stuff like that, where we can summon on, you know, the normal banners, but now that they're doing something like this, granted, it's only for the next three weeks, but now they're doing something like this, this is a big set forward, I feel like, for Dokkan. The fact that throughout the week, you're going to log in, you're going to get these tickets that you can then use to summon on Spanner. They're giving you missions on the weekend to also get more tickets, and they're literally giving you a full-on 50 stone worth multi on, it's again, I know it's on a specific banner, but still, 50 stones worth of summoning for free, each week for the next three weeks. Well, I keep saying that, I need to stop saying that, because technically now it's only for the next two weeks. And I have a lot of you guys ask me, do I think this is going to come to the global side? Absolutely. I don't see why they would not bring this to the global side. Um, obviously, I hope that they do. Please screen crack. Please screen crack. Yes? No. No. Oh, you hate to see it as I'm trying to talk it up. But just because I'm not having good luck on it doesn't mean that you guys out there won't too. But wow, man. I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to talk up this band a little bit. And it's, it's, not, it's not helping me out. It's not helping me out. But again, we, have, we now have two more weeks of trying to summon on it, trying to pull something good. And I can still use... LR Gohan and LR Broly. Now, if you saw, I have some stones left. Because I thought, if I'm already in the middle of a video, and if you guys watched the video from, well, the one that literally is going up today, so technically from yesterday, I'm trying to go for this Frieza, and I didn't get him. We got some pretty legit stuff, but I didn't get the Frieza. I had a lot of you guys also asking me, Nano, why do you want this Frieza so bad? Here's the thing. He does have just Supreme Damage Modifier, but within his own super attack, he does... Give himself a boost. Raises He raises his SA off of his own super attack. His built-in passes of his attack and defense plus 80%. And if he's attacked, give himself a, an additional 100% on top of that. So, again, as I mentioned it when I was explaining the Beerus buff and all of that, um, that bonus 100% that happens after he gets attacked is tacked onto the already new number. So it's not just 180%. You take his attack... You add in the 80% from his passive, all of that, and once that number's been calculated, that's that number sitting there, and then it takes an additional 100% on top of that, which is is way, 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 way more than just it just than just if it were 180%. So it's just he's really good. He's really, really good. Um, he apparently puts up some of the biggest numbers actually in uh, the most malevolent clan category. So. That's why I really want this unit. There he is, dude. Yes. All right. It was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. Yes, please. All right. Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Okay. So, with that said, I'm going to go in one more. We're going to go in one more. Not to mention the LRs are on this too. All of them, not just the OG5. All of the non Dokkan Fest LRs are on this banner. This is guaranteed featured on that last slot, so that Krillin could easily just be that. Um, that really could be other stuff too, but it is it, that final slot is instead of being guaranteed uh, just SSR with that 5% chance of it featured and 95% chance of unfeatured, um, it's actually literally 100% chance of it being a featured unit in that final slot. But you could get an LR in the other nine slots that it could be. Anyway, though, I just want to make a video doing something over that. Uh, well, A, we pulled the hype stuff over there on the streams. In case you want to check out the streams, it's twitch.tv slash no jinx. You search no jinx over on Twitch, all of that. Uh, if you guys want to know when I go live, the best way is follow me on Nano, on, on Nano Jinx. 
uh, follow me at NanoJinx on Twitter as well. And, you know, if you're really feeling it, you might follow me at NanoJinx on Instagram too. But, anyway, um, I just was like, hey, I want to hop in. I want to talk about this weekend gotcha because I, I it's so legit. And B, I want to A, hop back, well B, I want to hop back in on this banner. And also, C, I want to, want to show you guys those really awesome stream highlights. So anyways, guys, there you go. That is today's video. We have a brand new free weekend gotcha banner, man. I'm telling you, Dohan is making, and it's totally, it, I see it a ton. It's totally because Legends is doing this stuff. Legends on the main sort of banners are giving out two basically chances at pulling a new sparking unit. And I think that stuff like that is then causing Akasuki to go over here and go like, okay, what can we do to do something similar for, you know, our Dokon sort of fandom? And that's, that's awesome. Like that's creating this competition that is just basically benefiting both sides, right? For someone like me that plays both versions, it's great. It's great, it's great, it's great. So anyways, guys, there you go. That is today's video. If you enjoyed it, consider signing the like button. If you're new to the channel and not done so yet, consider hitting that subscribe button down there. Join the hashtag NanoFam today. All those things, guys. Have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on. Nanogenic sun off, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.